In today's news for you, listening to the silent symptoms of ovarian cancer is one of the main messages the Ovarian Cancer Coalition of Central South Carolina wants to convey to women in its annual Whispers Butterfly release at the State House. More details on this event in just a moment. Dr. William Merritt, an oncologist at South Carolina Oncology, will be there. You and I have been there for several years of it. And every year, one thing we talk about at this event, which is going to be on Friday, and again, I'll give you the details. But, uh, Dr. Merritt, when we say silent symptoms, there are actually some things some, some women should look for, right? And what are those symptoms? There are, Dawn D. There, there are many symptoms that we take for granted. Um, for example, abdominal pain, maybe feeling a little bit bloated or full after you're eating a large meal. And, and while we all have these symptoms, the, the ones we're concerned about are the ones that persist. Patients who have them for several weeks, they don't go away. And those are the types of symptoms we're trying to make patients aware of and hope that we can increase the awareness, at least to be vocal with your physicians and, and at least start the work up if there is a concern that something could be going on. Have researchers in the medical field gotten any closer to a diagnostic test? Because as it stands now, it's not like we can just go for a pap smear and find out if you have ovarian cancer. That doesn't do anything for that. That's true. That's true. There, there's probably... 50% of the research in ovarian cancer is taking place at looking for early detection. So there is a lot of work being done, but I think we have a long way to go. Um, several blood tests are looking at combining those two tests together to increase the sensitivity, maybe combining with imaging tests. And I think we're on the right track, but we, you're right, we don't have a, a good screening test like a mammogram or a pap smear or a colonoscopy yet, but hopefully soon. So if a woman goes into an office and says, I have these symptoms, what does the doctor do? Well, I think the first thing is, is to get a little bit more perspective on what these symptoms are. Like I say, some of these symptoms are very common for, for patients. Mm -hmm. So. The majority of the time, there is nothing wrong, but based on exams, especially if it sounds like it's something gynecological in origin, uh, performing a female examination, and then based on those findings, taking a next step, whether it be imaging with an ultrasound or a CAT scan or blood work based on those assessments, I think is the next best choice. Dr. Merritt, thank you for that information. And the doctor and I are going to be out Friday. Let me give you the uh, information here. It's the eighth annual Whispers Butterfly released by the Ovarian Cancer Coalition of Central South Carolina. From Friday, 5.30 on the steps of the State House grounds on the Gervais Street side. For more details, go to that website. And I've also put it on the Big Red 10. And you'll uh, get to see this interview later if you go on my Twitter or Facebook page. Dr. Merritt, thank you as always. Thank you, Don. Appreciate it.